just before the holiday season, Xiaomi started rolling out their first Android 9.0 Pi update to the Xiaomi Mi A2. And a lot of people have reported a whole bunch of different issues with this Pi update. So today's tutorial will cover how to downgrade from Pi back down to the, to the latest version of Oreo on the Xiaomi Mi A2. Now just to give you a little backstory of the issues that a lot of people are reporting. Some people are seeing portrait mode issues where they're unable to focus on any other subjects. Some people are reporting fingerprint scan issues that have has been significantly slower on Pi. Uh, the screen brightness is dropping. Some are reporting overheating issues. The some say that the touch screen feels less responsive with Pi. A lower audio volume issue with Pi. Face ID uh, is is cropping up as an issue for some other people. The front flash issue. So there's a bunch of complaints that people are having after they have updated to Android 9.0 Pi with the Xiaomi Mi A2. Um, now the first thing I would suggest, I would suggest doing a factory reset. Just a simple plain Jane factory reset on the device to see if it works. Of course you're going to lose your data when you do a factory reset. But you're going to lose your data doing a downgrade from Pi to Oreo as well. So just back up as much information as possible. And then try to do the factory reset, activate Android, see if you notice the same issues. Um, before I showed you how to boot up into safe mode. Safe mode, again, is another good troubleshooting issue. Boot into safe mode and see if you notice any of the issues that have been reported or that you may be currently experiencing with the Pi update. So if none of that works, the best solution is to do a downgrade. To do a downgrade, we first need to have downloaded and installed the Mi Flash tool and I'll have a link to that in the full tutorial and you can find that full tutorial linked in the video description directly on my website and you're going to need to download the latest Oreo version the latest Oreo software for the Xiaomi Mi A2 which again will be linked to in the full tutorial once you have both of those set up, we are going to shut off the device. And then we're going to boot up into fast boot mode. Now just like with the download links, if you're not familiar with how to do this, check the full tutorial. I'll have step-by-step -step instructions. We're just holding down the volume down and power button while the device is powered off. And then once the device is complete, it has been booted into fast boot mode, then we can connect it to the PC with a USB cable. Once that's done, then we're going to open up um, the Xiaomi Mi Flash tool. So now I'm going to change focus from here to the monitor. Now the Xiaomi Mi A2 comes with two different bootloader unlock commands. The one I previously covered, which will get you through most everything, is just fast boot space flashing split space unlock. But if we are going to downgrade back to Pi, we need to run the command fast boot space flashing space unlock underscore critical so if you so to do this we just need to open up a command prompt in the same folder as our ADB and fastboot tools
And then we're just going to, again, type out this command, fastboot, space, flashing, space, unlock, underscore, critical. And then press enter on the keyboard. You're going to get a prompt on the device, just like you did whenever you did a regular bootloader unlock. And we're going to press the volume down button twice and then press the power button to select that option. And just like with the regular bootloader unlock process, it's going to reboot the device. Once the device has been rebooted, then we're going to go back into fast boot mode like we were before. So as I said, we need to download the latest Oreo update, and it's going to be in a file like this. You're going to need to extract that into a folder, and then you're going to need to go into that folder until we see all these files right here. This is the file location that we currently need. And we're going to need to copy this entire file path that these files are currently in. And not the images, but all these batch files. So we're going to right click, copy that entire file path for this firmware and again this download link will be in the full tutorial and then we're going to need to open up like I said the me flash tool so right now we have the Xiaomi Mi A2 in fast boot mode we have it connected to the PC with a USB cable we are going to be pasting that entire file path or that folder path into that box and then we're going to be clicking the refresh button. The refresh button is going to detect the device that we currently have and it's going to make sure that it is in fast boot mode. And then we're going to look down here and we have three options right here. We have clean all, save user data, clean all and lock. So the only two options we really have to choose from are clean all or clean all and lock. You're not going to be saving your user data when you do a downgrade from Pi to Oreo. It's just not going to happen. So we can either clean all and lock the bootloader or we can just do a clean all. I recommend just doing a clean all unless you again want to do a lock the bootloader. But we're just going to be doing a regular clean all option here. And then we're going to click the flash button to start the process. Now, if you were to, to, to do this with the bootloader locked or with the critical bootloader locked, then you're going to get, get an error when you click that flash button. It's not going to break your phone or anything, but you will get an error when you click that flash button. So make sure you have gone in through fast boot mode and done the typical unlock and the critical unlock commands so that we can flash all of the images back onto our device.
We're just going to be waiting patiently here. We have a progress meter. Unless something gets stuck for more than five or ten minutes, everything's going okay. Everything's going as it should. And once all that's done, we're going to have our Xiaomi Mi 2 Mi A2 reboot on its own. At least that's how it is whenever we flash a fastboot ROM with Mi UI installed on it. So I assume the same thing is going to happen with this Android One device. And so we got a success message here and our Mi A2 phone has rebooted. As we have basically done a factory reset on our device, this first boot cycle is going to take a bit longer than normal. So we just want to be patient. We need to wait for both Android to set stuff up and for Xiaomi's changes to set stuff up. This first boot cycle is going to take longer than normal. And now we are at the Android activation screen. I'm going to skip through all of this and be right back at the home screen to show you that everything is as it should be. We have now booted back up into Android. I have gone through and skipped all of the setup process just to get us to this home screen so that I can show you we were on Android 9.0 before. You can see the applications were set up differently. And when we go into the About Phone section, you can see we are now back on Android 8.0 Pi or Oreo instead of Pi. 9.0 like we were before. So make sure that you do not install, if you were having issues before, make sure you do not install the Pi update. You know, you, this that update will come in through an over-the-air notification. If you were having issues before, I would just hold off. It will be near impossible to find out when or if Xiaomi has fixed the issues that you were experiencing unless you keep up with the user forums like on Reddit or XDA. But that is how to downgrade the Xiaomi Mi A2 from Android Pi to Android Oreo.